Hello and welcome to another video. It's Star here and this is Executive Assault 2. This is a game that I've had my own for some time. And what this game is, it's quite unique actually because it's two games in one. It is an empire building game, an RTS, but also it's a first person shooter game. First thing you need to do here is create your company profile. I've already done that just before going live. So I'm gonna set my CEO as that. We're gonna be trading in computer games. I don't know, it's just random or plasma tools, chairs, fancy chocolates, sounds good. And then we can set our logo. We'll just do that. And then single player. So here's the two game types that you can play as. You can be the CEO, uh, play as the CEO of a company in real time strategy mode with the aim of assassinating all rival company CEOs in the area by getting promoted to gain access to more tech. Or you can play as a clone, a lead clone, and you're gonna be doing some space exploration, mining, capturing outposts, taking control of ships, that kind of thing. You've got hacking, you've got all sorts of stuff. In this case, we're gonna start as the CEO. This is the map generation page. We could do a random map. As you can see, it's seeded. Every random map is slightly different. You can choose how chaotic the map is, and you can choose how many planets they are. And then it's, it's like most other RTS games, you sort of set up how you want the map to be, and then we start. So before we continue, I just wanted to mention that this is a game that I have considered doing as a live stream or a playthrough. So if you'd like to see that on the channel, let me know in the comments. Just say yes, do a playthrough of this game. For now, this is a first look, so we'll probably take 15 or so minutes just going through the basics of this game. I'm going to set my colours. I'm going to be red. They're going to be blue. I'm going to set it to very easy. That's default. I'm going to be industrial for now because that's what interests me the most. The other options are science, spy, and mandem. Let's go. <laughs> Copy ready, please take. There we go, restocking. So I am, this is first person mode, so we can go and uh, have a little look around. However, for now, we want to build our empire. So we're going to go into this. So this is basically how you imagine an RTS to be. So there's our asteroid that we're on. This is our base. I've just walked around this base. We're going to go and take over the galaxy. So what's the first thing we need to do? Well, we need to build a mining terminal. If we scroll all the way out, you can see we've got some unknowns here. We've got some metals up here, some uranium, and we've got some energy. Energy is like currency. Uranium is power and metal ore is to build things. If we go back here, we're gonna build a mining terminal now. So if we go along here, build structures. Where's that mining terminal? There we are. And we're gonna place it maybe, yeah, let's build it there. There we go. So what's incredibly cool about this is that all bases that you build are walkable. So you can go back into first person, you can walk through this building into what you've just built. Everything on this asteroid is walkable, which is really, really awesome. So if I go back, yeah, if I literally go back into first person, I can now walk into this new area. You'll see this little ship coming in. This is a mining ship. And what we're going to do is get it to start mining the asteroid over there. Is he gonna go? Yeah, he's turning around. That's cool. Right, so we've got our first ship, mining ship going. That's gonna start bringing in some energy. Wait, do we actually want energy or do we want uranium? We'll have energy because that's gonna allow us to, to upgrade and buy stuff. So set mining ship to mining asteroid is what I've just done. We need a nuclear power plant next because we do need power. It costs 4,000 energy and uh, we are going to put the power, should we, where should we connect it to? There, there we go. And then we're going to build a ship factory because we need ships, don't we now? Where's the ship factory? Where are you ship factory assembly? There we go. We can also build corridors down here, by the way. So ship factory, let's put one, let's put one here. Pop. There we go. And we're building a troop factory here. So far so good, let's just double check. Is this ship mining? Yes, it is. Okay, so he's on his way back. He's just mined that rock. That's awesome. So what we really need to do now is, is get another ship going. So we're going to highlight our ship now it's built, design mode. And I think what we're going to do is get another large asteroid ship. We've got enough over here, 12,000. So let's get an asteroid ship and fabricate. In fact, let's get two. Because we've got three types of asteroids, we'll have one doing the metal ores, one doing the uranium, and one doing the energy. So as you can see here, it's currently being built. And there we are, it's built. So let's manage this, let's get it going over here. Pop. That's just gonna keep working its way around now. So I think what we need to do to start pumping out ships is we do need to build another ship factory. Yeah, we'll put it there. So that's the second 
ship factory going in now that one's off to mine so we do design mode and what we're going to start doing now is building marauders i think marauders are quite important because we want to go out and explore and these marauders are going to help us protect our probe ships so maybe we'll build uh i say let's build 10 for now set the waypoint of this tent and point. maybe same. there sorry rally point and then same with this one so actually can i do both yeah rally point set there we go so now it's going to build marauders there's our other mining ship so let's get that doing metal ores now we're mining all three now we've got the marauder ship starting to come out if i click on this i can actually go into first person mode by doing direct control and this puts me inside the marauder ship and you can see the uh, other ships mining there for us. And now we're just waiting in position. There we go. So we'll leave them there for now. So when you do go into direct control of a ship, it does give it a bit of a boost in terms of stats. That's really useful when you're in the heat of battle. So I think what we're going to do now is start putting some defense turrets down because the enemy in general can just land some troops and they can just rush your base. We go up here and we're going to do build let's get these little clone trooper guys now you can upgrade them over time i think we need to do let's do 10 and i'm going to set their waypoint maybe out here rally point set there we go so they can go and sit there and you can see here i've started to get uh, research points i've started to get energy you can see it's starting to tick over here now which is great and I've got my fleet cap here. I've got my personnel cap up here as well. We also need to create some space guns in case ships come over the top of our building structures. So for that, we need defenses. This anti-personnel turret shoots anything on land and this one shoots anything in the sky or the space. So I think we need to make sure that we surround ourselves. We'll do a few of these, they're 500 each. Some of them over here. So we've got jump points up here. So we need actually to put them up on this side. So we'll do a couple more here. One there. Oh, we'll do six. There we go. And then we'll put a couple of proper turrets. One here. One here. And then we'll do a couple here as well. One here. Now, I haven't really done a great job of this, but you get the idea. My troops should be being built at this point, and they should be... I don't know where they are. Where did I put them as rally point? Oh, there's the turrets. Oh, there he is. Oh, they're here. Yeah, that was a really silly thing to do, really, because I'm not going to be able to find them. Let's gather them here, and then I'll put them into my CEO base. Let's set the waypoint. Whoa. Rally point set. In there. And wherever those... Where are they? See, I'm going to lose them all the time. So this is your power management system. You really have to manage this quite well. I'm going to push it up to about 40, which should give us an extra kick. So yeah, there's our first asteroid here, asteroid base. It's uh, everything's running well as intended. We've got mining going on here. We've got uranium. We've got energy. We've got a whole load of uh, ships ready to roll. One of the most important things about this game is the tech. We really need to get that tech going very, very quickly as soon as we can. So here's a tech facility. I'm going to pop one here. Not enough resources. So that's a problem. So what I might do is take the ship from here and put it on energy. This ship's carrying 5,000. So once this ship lands here, we'll have enough energy and this ship's gonna go and get, it's almost full anyway. Maybe maybe it should have just gone straight back to base, but it's only gonna be able to pick up 200. We've got waste here. We've got to keep an eye on as well. You can get waste disposal ships, which is pretty cool. So once this ship lands, we'll be able to unlock tech tree and then we'll wait for this number to go up. There we go, four, five, we need, what did, what did we need for a tech tree? Oh, we've got enough now. Okay, well done. Well done, ship. Tech facility. This is a priority building. There we go. We got it down. So the tech tree is research. So you've got space tech, which is your ships and what have you. And you've got base tech. You've got ground tech and you've got economy tech. So you need to be pushing these and updating these as soon as possible. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to go and build another ship. This ship is going to be an information probe. So the information probe, we're going to send out to a different system and we're going to see what resources are, the, are available there. We're going to also see how the enemy are doing. So let's build this and then we're going to send it into the other system. In this case, unknown with these ships here. So let's get these ready to go. So we'll move them here and then we'll wait the other ship to be built and again if we want to go in we can go in here 
There we go. There's my mar oh, there it is. There's my new ship. These are the marauders. I can sit in the captain's chair if I want to. And there they go. So where's that other ship gone? There's, I've got to work out an easy way to spot ships because I'm not entirely sure where, where they go. Oh, it went over here. Of course it did, because that's my waypoint. Right, this is the information probe. So we're going to also take that over here. Now you should really be looking at your economy as well, keeping an eye on that. But for now, I'm just, because I'm demonstrating the game, we're going to do the basics as soon as this other ship turns up. There we go. And I think we can do that. What's that? I don't know what that is. So let's go into this and see what it does. Oh, okay. These are the jumps. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, there they come out of jump. Okay, so I can see straight away an asteroid there. If we come out, let's have a look. What have we got? Okay, so we've got a, another Kamar. Oh, okay. There we go. So now we know it's called Hajron. And if we click in, we can see there's some other unknowns here. We've got Metal Ore, Metal Ore. And uh, we've got Energen. We've got all sorts of things. And as you can see here, we've got what looks like other ships. So this is us. If we want to go and attack these ships. Which looks like a fighter ship. Starfighter is going to engage. Let's bring the Marauders back. Let's go in. Let's see. There's the other ship. And if I want to completely take charge, just go into the then I can then I can shoot. And he's gone. So back to our system then. One of the most useful things in this game, if you press escape, is there is a guide here which can you can literally do a look up on. And then you've also got a to-do list here, which is pretty cool. Here you can switch between space and ground so you can see inside the structures. So there's me. So by pressing eight, I can go back into first person mode and I can see my empire. And now these are the troops that I uh, brought in to help me out. We can fabricate here. This is the shipyard. Asteroids are heading towards my HQ. You know what? I'll deal with that at some other time. And then you can go outside. What is happening here? Asteroids. There's the asteroids. If we go down here. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Asteroids are hitting the base. Okay, this is where you can hack the system. You could put red alert, green alert. You can switch off the mainframes, that kind of stuff. Okay, so if we go along here, through here, this is the shipyard. You can actually get on the ships. You can pilot the proper fighters. It becomes more kind of star citizen-y then. I personally would not do the CEO. I would rather be the clone trooper, the robot. And then you get... Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, all right. Yeah, so anyway, let me know if you want me to maybe do a live stream or if you want me to do a series. Just put it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, take care so long and goodbye.